Hey guys and welcome to day number six. Thank you very much for tuning in. This episode is gonna be a special one because today I'm gonna do some unboxing. I haven't done any unboxing on camera yet so please bear with me in case something goes wrong but I have just received these two parcels a few minutes ago. A small one and a big one. The small one contains a journal or a book about the Sauer RK7. So that's the World War II vehicle I'm trying to rebuild in Fusion 360. And we should find some images here, a detailed description and hopefully also some good blueprints that I can use to build the parts. And the big box over here should contain a miniature model of the vehicle. And uh, for this one, let's hope that the parts are detailed enough so that I get a good understanding on how this thing is assembled in 3D. Now, without any further ado, let me grab a paper knife and open up these boxes. Now, let's start with the big box first, as you guys are probably wondering what the miniature model looks like. So I'm gonna cut it loose on the sides first and then let's make a straight cut at the top and now I should be able to open it. So it still sticks here a little bit. So let me grab the paper knife one more time, make a deep cut. So, and now the box is open. Voila. Here we go. There's a lot of paper in it that secures the valuable cargo and here it is the Saura RK7 it has a lot of nice illustrations on the sides and at the top made in China looking great so it comes in a scale at 1 to 35. That is very small compared to the original one, of course. And now it's probably also a good time to confess that I haven't assembled any of these sets before in my life. So this is something new for me too. And I mean, look at all of these small parts here. I'm always amazed by how these things are made. And these must be the tracks, or at least parts of the tracks. Oh boy, look at how many parts there are. Some parts of the chassis, more tracks again. Huh, I was thinking that maybe the tracks are pre-assembled, but they are not. Tracks, a lot more tracks, and here. We have some additional parts of the vehicle's body and of course the wheels, very nice. And here we have something that looks like the body of the vehicle. So let me see if I can open this. It looks nice and detailed, secured. And it looks like it consists of two parts, a top part and the bottom part. And you probably have to build the bottom part first and then set the top part on top. And here we have ooh, some very nice blueprints. I'm pretty sure that they will be very useful during the design process in Fusion 360 and here we have some additional stickers and small parts. So all in all I will keep everything as it is for the moment. I do not start assembling the miniature model for the moment but I will try to build it simultaneously while I do the assembling in Fusion 360. Now let's move on with the journal and I got this one from Nuts minus bolts dot de they have several of these books or journals in their portfolio and hopefully i will find some detailed images and maybe also some additional blueprints in it 
Here it is, nuts and bolts, Saurer RK7. Now let me uh, quickly browse through it. Um, the description is very detailed. It is written in German and in English. And as you can see, it contains a lot of pictures. Actually, uh, it was uh, not easy to get these images for sure because only 150, 160 of these vehicles were built. And then here we have some miniature models again. And I'm pretty sure that these reference images together with the text will be very helpful later on during the design process. Now look, I've already assembled the wheel. This is too easy. Now, of course, I'm just kidding. I had a look at the construction plan of this thing and it will not be easy at all. But I think it's time now to get some glue and some tools and start assembling this thing simultaneously uh, with the design process in Fusion 360. So if you guys have some experience building these miniature models, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what kind of tools you use. So this will uh, make it a lot easier for me to decide what I need to purchase to turn this one into a successful project too. Now, when it comes to Fusion 360, the next step will be to sort out the reference material and um, then I'm gonna use the blueprints to build or to set up a first main assembly that contains the most important parts of the Saurer RK7. And then I'm gonna replace these parts step by step with fully designed elemental parts of the vehicle. Now, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, ask in case you have any questions and see you in the next one.